Let's talk about activity books. These are wonderful to help foster creativity in your child. They're great to keep your kiddo occupied and entertained while practicing their fine motor skills. Some of the books promote mindfulness or explore color and different forms of media like pencil crayons and white clean markers. And many of them have an academic component too. I'm going to start with the white clean books. These are awesome because they can be used over and over again. They're amazing for on the go. You can bring them to a playground or a beach. If they get a bit of mud on them, you just wipe it off. And if the marker eventually runs out, any white clean marker will work just fine. There are specific math and writing books to help develop key skills and knowledge. So these ones are the early years books for preschoolers, but there are older age books as well, right up through elementary. So some of them focus on fractions or geometry, but all of the white clean books work on fine motor skills and pen control. They'll help increase your child's self-confidence and they introduce problem solving skills. So if you have a kid who might not be too excited to work on a school book, Try getting them one of the themed books instead, like space or dinosaurs or unicorns, and then it'll feel more like a game than an assignment, but they're still working on all those really important skills. For example, here it says connect the dots in order to finish the space station. So your child has to be able to recognize the shapes of the numbers and put them into sequence and then use that pen control to join them all up like that. There's also tracing here tracing the different shapes of the numbers and counting the piles of rocks. So it might not seem like an academic book, but there is a really strong learning component too. So my top tip for you is pick a book that's about something that your child loves. So if they're obsessed with superheroes, get them the superhero wipe clean book. And that way you can sneak some learning into their play in a really fun way. And they'll also be more likely to want to pick up the book and want to practice more and help develop those skills more because they're enjoying themselves so much. For regular paper books, the Little Children's Holiday Activity Book is packed full of fun things to do. There's Spot the Difference and Mazes, and all of the activities in here are designed to help children develop vital skills in reading, writing, counting, and observation. There are tons of other themes too. There are dinosaurs and superheroes and under the sea. The nature one is my favorite. It's beautiful. And this one actually comes with stickers as well as a bonus. If your kid's a little bit older, so this the Little Children series would be for kids who are around five years old. If you've got a kid who's seven and up, there are also write-in activity books that are great for that age. And they have slightly more complex themes. So one's about planet Earth, there's a pirate's book, there's a maps activity book, and there's one about a museum. There's also for slightly older kids, this is the Unhurry book, which is part of a mental health series. It's good for adults too, you can get this for yourself. And it's full of relaxing activities to help you take a quiet moment and relax your brain. Next, I'm gonna talk about mazes because mazes are amazing to promote spatial awareness. They improve hand-eye coordination. They boost problem-solving skills. And I have one kid who loves mazes. So whenever he has an activity book, he always wants to do the mazes first. So that's why I got him this whole book full of mazes. You can also get full books of word searches or dot to dot or spot the difference or whatever it is that your kid loves best. Here's a little look and find book. It's kind of like Where's Waldo, where you have to find things in the pictures. And this one is great for kids who might be a little bit too young to do activities like word searches on their own. It's nice and thin and light, so it would be great for on a plane. It's just a little paperback. Um, it would be good to pack along when you're camping or just going on any adventure, really. But the very best books for on the go are these minis. These guys are only $5.95. There are tons of them. Some of them are books to doodle in. This one's word searches. We've got space puzzles. Um, many of them have stickers or things to spot, and they're great for out enjoying nature. So this one, obviously, is perfect for taking along to the beach. Magic painting books are very popular for good reason. They're amazing. They've got black and white pages, but then when you use just water, you can bring the colors to life on the page. And there are so many titles. There's sea creatures and space and unicorns. So this is how the pictures come alive when you add water to them. These pictures are quite complex. You can see there's a lot of detail here. So these ones I would recommend for ages five and up. 
but for younger ones, there are my first magic painting books. There is one that's under the sea and one that's about a garden. And those are perfect for improving pen control and building concentration in a really fun way for ages three and up. If your child loves drawing, this step-by-step -step drawing book is an excellent option. It's very thick. There's lots in here. There's monkeys and monsters and pirate ships and crocodiles and there's an octopus. Um, this is great for ages four and up and it's got lots of simple instructions in it. Osborne also has exceptionally high quality sticker books. Sticker books help develop fine motor skills, improve spatial awareness, and they're just so much fun, right? So there are lots of themes here again. These first sticker books are great for ages three and up. The little first sticker books are slightly smaller, but the pages are coded, so the stickers are actually reusable in these books, which is extra fun. A very popular sticker series is the Sticker Dolly Dressing Books. This is the princess one, and these are like a sticker version of paper dolls. So there are a variety of outfits in the back to dress the dollies and you've got options for fairies and mermaids and unicorns and ballerinas. There are some multicultural ones as well with costumes from around the world. This one's for ages five and up because it's got over 400 reusable stickers in one book. So there are lots of tiny detailed stickers in here, but there are simpler ones too for ages three and up and those are called the little sticker dolly dressing books. The build your own sticker books are awesome. These ones are great for ages five and up, as well as the deadly animals. There are also robots and monster trucks and super cars and space warriors and so on. So the pictures have got these gaps in them and then your child uses stickers to fill up the gaps and complete the image. My current favorite sticker book is the My Friends one here. It's got all sorts of early years activities. There's a birthday party and a preschool and sleeping over and a playground, lots of fun. But it's also got some really excellent underlying messaging as well about being polite and sharing and taking turns. Like the sticker says, you can go next. It's also a beautifully diverse book. There are friends in here with wheelchairs or mobility aids. There are friends with hearing aids. There are friends with medical eye patches. And the kids are from really diverse ethnic and cultural backgrounds too. So it's a fun sticker book that also promotes empathy and celebrates diversity and differences, which is a huge win in my opinion. And last of all, I can't forget my family's favorite activity book. This is the Never Get Bored book and it's packed full of ideas to keep your kiddos occupied during quiet time. My boys love this one. We keep it next to their bed. So if they wake up too early in the morning, they can entertain themselves quietly with the book for a while instead of rousing the whole house. And it works like a charm. It would be great for rainy days in the summer for sure. Or pretty much any time when you want your kids um, having a little bit of quiet downtime. So that's just a quick overview for you. I've really only scratched the surface here. There are lots of others. There are paper airplane books or science experiments or origami. And also plenty of books which teach specific concepts like telling the time or fractions and decimals or reading comprehension and so on. So if you want to help reinforce a specific skill or concept, please do get in touch because I'd love to help you find the right resources for your family. Thank you for watching.